Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Dell OptiFlex 3010 that I picked up in non-working condition for 10 bucks. The specs of this are an i5-4570 with 4 gigs of RAM and integrated graphics. When I got this, I knew that the motherboard was broken and that it didn't have a drive. The replacement motherboard just got here, so let's put it together and see if everything else works. Now that we have it all built, let's see if it'll post. So I'm just going to plug in the power connector and see if it'll boot up right away. Alright, I just realized that I don't have the back fan plugged in, but that shouldn't matter for getting it to post. Okay, it is flashing uh, orange light over here on the power button. Let me just quick see what that means. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try for troubleshooting is changing out the RAM. The system came with this super talent, with these super talent RAM sticks that are dual sided and run at a higher speed. I'm going to be switching it out for this stick of SK Hynix RAM to 2 gig stick that runs at 1333 MHz. It's single sided and should work a lot better with OEM systems. Okay, the new stick of RAM in, let's, is in. let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, 
Okay, so the power button went white, and now the fans have ramped back down. It looks like it's displaying out on this monitor, and it says, and it just booted in with those alerts, and it looks like everything is working. We just Alright, no boot device plus any key to reboot. I'm just going to quick plug in the rear fan and grab a test hard drive. Alright, so I got a drive put in and I put in my Windows installer. Just a quick note, um, on the Octiflex 3010, the SATA power doesn't come off the power supply. It comes off the motherboard, so I don't have the connector cable thing that connects the hard drive power to the motherboard, so I'm having to pull SATA power off the power supply from my main computer. Um, I also just put um, another 2 gigs of RAM in, now it's using just two 2 gig sticks of OCZ Gold RAM, that those for some reason work fine in that, even though the other RAM didn't, but let's power it up and boot into the Windows installer. Okay, the hard drive has power. Okay, I guess it's not wanting to boot with this, so let me go through and see if I can figure out what the issue is. All right, so I got it booted up now. For some reason, it only decided to boot once off of this RAM, and now it just doesn't want to boot with this RAM again, but it is working fine with the stick of RAM we were using earlier. So now I just have to press F1 to run setup. Okay, so I was able to get into Windows on here and everything showed up, but between the two gigs of RAM and running it off of a hard drive, it was really lagging and slow, so I decided to just USB boot Linux. Here we are in the boot menu. I'm just gonna select USB boot and start Linux Mint. Okay, I will cut it here and be back once. Linux finally loads. Okay, um, Linux Mint just finished loading. That probably took about a minute, but let, I'm just gonna quick make sure everything is showing up right. And we can see here in system monitor that the two gigs of RAM are showing up and it's recognizing a quad-core CPU. Thank you for watching this video. I'll have another video coming out on this PC in about three weeks. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.